to the point and to lead him to the place you want to lead him. So in this case, I was trying to have him perpendicular to the current and I was guiding him to the calmest water I could and not putting a whole lot of pressure because if you put a lot of pressure, the fish will tend to run the other way. And I think that might have been one of the nice things about the very flexible rod. The fish probably never felt a whole lot of pressure and I was able to slowly guide him to where I wanted and the fish was really strong still. Um, you know, it was a really quick fight for a 20 inch fish. Uh, and when I released him, I could feel that he was still full of energy and it didn't take long at all for him to go away. It was a, it was a really nice fight. Daniel, can you bring him over here? I think I got the fly out. And I like to keep it upside down for a second to handle him. And then put it in the water and just let him gain his strength. Don't, swim, don't let him swim right away. Just wait until he's pretty strong to swim out. <laughs> he wants to go, but uh, I'll just wait a few seconds and let him go. Oh, I got him on again! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is unbelievable. This is a big fish. This is a really big fish. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's going up straight. Oh. How good is this? I'm gonna try and net him before he gets past me. Wee, now I'm in trouble. Down on the nose. Oh geez, a cracking fish. I have to chase him. Goodness. Keep your head of the current, mate. Oh, it's four pound. I'm gonna be very lucky to hold this guy. Max, max him out the drag on him. Oh, oh. The big fish, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Cracker. I can't move him in the current. Oh, so close, shit, so far. Oh, oh, come on, mate. He's upside on here. I don't think the hook's going to come out. Well, we can't let him get down too far. A very, very large brown. Five pound range thereabouts, I'd say. Oh. I'll have to go in here and try and net him. Oh, what a battle it was. Oh. The old man with the mouth.